Hey everyone, my name is Jacob. So today I have some things to talk about. So on Monday, Mac OS Catalina was released. It was actually supposed to be released on the 4th, um, last Friday, whatever reason, for whatever reason, it wasn't released. But anyways, I downloaded and installed Mac OS Catalina on my MacBook Pro, which is my main and only computer. Um, <laughs> I struggled with that decision because I know that's probably not the best thing to do is just get a software immediately as it comes out on the thing that you your whole life revolves around like my youtube channel my school i mean everything is on this computer but i did it anyways because i'm stupid and i was looking forward to mac os Catalina for the longest time for one main feature and that is sidecar so i actually tweeted this out on monday um and a lot of people did not know what sidecar is let me tell you, Sidecar is a feature of macOS Catalina, and macOS Catalina is an update to your um, Mac, which I probably should have explained. But anyways, it's a feature where you can connect your Mac to your iPad and use your iPad as a, um, a second monitor, almost. But what's really cool is that if you have an iPad Pro, you can actually use the Apple Pencil on your Mac. So you can, with drawing apps on your Mac, it'll be, it's so much easier to just use your Apple Pencil, which I was super excited about. I don't use drawing apps, but for other such other things such as graphic design, the Apple Pencil would come in handy like a lot. And I was super excited about it. So anyways, I, it takes me forever to get Mac OS Catalina installed on my Mac just because of things that were going on that day. And I finally get it. And connect up my Mac to my iPad and Sidecar works. And I'm super excited about it. And you're probably like, wait, Sidecar works. What is this video about? Well, <laughs> that was one of the few times that it actually worked. So what happened was is that I connected my iPad to my MacBook and um, it worked perfectly, like I said. Then I wanted to change some settings for the Sidecar, such as showing the touch bar on my iPad, which I thought was super cool. I still haven't gotten to see it yet. <laughs> but anyways, so once I said show touch bar on iPad, well, that's where everything went completely wrong. And um, so basically once I did that, my iPad was not responding to the, um, to the sidecar. The, the iPad was working, sidecar was not working. So um, yeah, I, and then so I disconnected on my MacBook and then I couldn't get it connected back to my iPad. So my, my thought was, oh, maybe I haven't updated my iPad. So I updated it to iPad OS 13.1.2, I believe. And um, I was like super excited about it. I reset my computer. I reset my iPad after I downloaded the update, connected it, did not work. It will not connect. It's saying that it has a miscellaneous error. So then I reset my computer and reset my iPad again. And again, we have no luck. Um, still, the miscellaneous error. And it's just it's so weird. It's driving me crazy. So then I try a wired connection, which actually was working a lot less than the wireless connection was, which was a little bit weird to me. But honestly, I don't really know what's up. I'm gonna try it on this video so that you can see what happens. And I bet you anything that it's gonna work, but let, let's try it out. All right, so I'm gonna try a wireless connection because that's what I've had the most success with. So let's try it out. So to enable CarPlay, we go to the AirPlay icon in the top bar and then select our iPad. All right, so we have a connection forming and now we have a connection. Now this is normally what happens. We have a strong connection whenever I first try it out. But once I start to change some settings for sidecar, it does not work. So let's try showing the touch bar on the iPad. And there we go. <laughs> the iPad is now blurred out forever, it seems. I've sat there for a while waiting for it to load or something, and it's completely unresponsive. Well, that, that's actually not exactly true. I can actually press these buttons and it'll work, but it doesn't actually do anything. Actually, whenever I try to disconnect from Sidecar from my iPad, that doesn't even work either. I actually have to go over to my computer and disconnect from there, which isn't that big of a deal, but it is a big deal since it's not working at all. And now whenever I try to connect, it doesn't work at all. And it does this every single time afterwards that I try to connect. We just see a black screen um, and it's not responding or anything like that. <laughs> It's obviously trying to establish a connection, but it's just not working. Now the same thing happens even if I go into the system preferences and then go to sidecar and connect to my iPad from there, it still does not work. 
and I even have trouble disconnecting from the system preferences. Now, one thing that's actually pretty cool um, that I did find is if you go into the macOS user guide for Sidecar, you scroll all the way down to the enabling double tap on Apple Pencil, you actually see that there is a reference to the Apple Pencil second generation or later. Now, the Apple Pencil only goes to a second generation, so I don't know if this means that a third generation Apple Pencil is coming soon or not, but um, definitely interesting, something to think about. But anyways, I guess my overall goal is to wait for an update to macOS bug fixes, which don't come all that often, but the <laughs> the updates to iPadOS and iOS were, were a lot. So, I mean, we'll see. I, I mean, I, I guess in the future there could be one. But yeah, be sure to tell me in the comments if y'all are having the same problem or if you've gotten it fixed somehow, be sure to tell me. That would be really cool because this is a feature... I was really looking forward to ever since WWDC in like June, I believe. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. I hope that you guys have had more luck um, with Sidecar. This video was actually supposed to be a video of me trying out Sidecar and showing y'all different ways that I've been using it, but I haven't been using it and that's what this video has evolved into is me ranting about Sidecar. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I have a... Um, a video coming up on Friday, I believe, hopefully, if everything works out, of um, a pretty cool device, so be sure to be on the lookout for that, and yeah, um, I will see y'all then, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and yeah, let's chat in the comments, like I said, um, yeah, I will see y'all in the next video, goodbye.